Hi, I'm Lucy Keller, the Head of Mindfulness at United World College Thailand. I have the great privilege of working with students, teachers and parents to promote and cultivate a mindful community. So that students are not just learning to kind of keep themselves healthy and calming down with their breath like you might do in a usual yoga practice, but we're trying to teach them different ways of relating to themselves so that they can take their practice off the mat with them. So for example, today they were invited at the very beginning of the practice just to tune into themselves and notice what was going on for them and how they wanted to relate to their practice, what was best for them today. So here were some of the things that or they could have their own idea. So for example, if their mind had been very, very busy, kind of all over the place today, they might choose to just focus on being aware of the present moment, just coming back to the breath and back to the body time and time again with kindness if they were kind of scattered. If recently they had noticed that they hadn't been very kind to themselves in their speech and their self-talk was quite negative, they could have been invited to just talk to themselves on their mat as if they were a dear friend. So if they heard themselves in a posture and it was really hard um, and they were hearing, oh, you're not good enough, they could stop and pause and just think, okay, how am I relating to myself? Is that really helpful? Um, if they felt like they'd been a little bit lazy recently, which we can all get, um, then they could have chosen the intention to motivate themselves with some positive phrases, like you can do it, you've got this. Um, or perhaps if they were very tense, they could have just really been there to kind of relax, release any tension that sometimes we hold in our bodies. They work really, really hard, our students. IB is a challenging program, so um, having time to just enjoy and have fun um, is really, really important for them. So that was also an option and also just to be So I'm also working with preschool today. So before that was grade 12, and now uh, this is preschool. So some of our youngest students, and it's their first visit to the mindfulness center. So I <laughs> have got some bears today in a, um, a basket, and I'm gonna leave a note on the basket. It says, please help the big bad wolf, they've been reading stories at the moment, came to our homes and we have no place to go. We feel very sad. Please, can you take care of us and help us feel happy again? The big bad wolf came to our homes. We have no place to go. We feel very sad. Oh, a bit like... So, I'm just going to take some um, suggestions of what we could do to support the bears um, if they're feeling sad. What kind of things could we do to take care of them? So, we're beginning to think about you know, being caring people in the world, um, what kind of things uh, work to take care of people so that we can then kind of translate from this story, a play-based kind of uh, idea, we can then kind of translate these ideas onto to the world around us. Doing this uh, for their first visit allows me to get some prior knowledge of kind of where they are and they're thinking about how to be caring. Um, and then I can build on that week after.